Hey guys, welcome back again. Today we begin to look into White Light Labs. So um recently I posted on my LinkedIn page on how I've been exploring the course, especially the ARTOC by White Light Labs. Um and I must say it's something I would recommend for all security professionals, actually people in the office of security space. So I purchased the course sometime I think about a month ago or more. Uh they were doing sales, so I think about twenty percent off. So I took the opportunity to purchase the course. Uh, I purchased both uh, two courses from them, which the other one is focused on that show. I uh, don't want to talk about that on this video, so I just want to talk about the the advanced rate sale of pressure certification. So I just want to you know to talk uh briefly about it and to just kind of share with you guys what this course entails and how it can be very useful and helpful to all of us security professional on the field. Um I mean it's something I would definitely recommend but if I dive into it let's look into this particular um uh, course. Uh firstly I'm going to share my screen so we're going to look into the course itself and uh, we're going to utilize their platform their website to um uh, view this course itself so as you can see on my screen this is our official website and um they have a lot of i think they have about four courses but this uh entry level venture test as which i don't think it's out yet because i was looking to it as well so but this first three is basically out and you can definitely take the advantage and i can see they are doing 50 percent off on their courses currently so it's a very good opportunity for us to leverage this kind of uh uh sales to be able to purchase this course so let's look at this art course itself and um they have a live training section i think I don't know how they do that, but I believe they do that maybe monthly or by monthly. I, I don't tell, but if you want to learn more about or want to know more on how they do their live training, you can reach out to them directly. But the self paced uh, learning is something I want to look into. So you can see it's self paced, designed for all civil professionals to know. Learn more about Cobas Drive process injection strategies and all that and the cool thing about it is that you we post all these labs in your own AWS environment so uh particulars or some set of script comes along with the course that you just need to put your AWS account ID I think even the secret key uh into this um uh script and that and build it you can use your Windows, you can use Mac, whichever one or version you use is fine. They are for both Windows and Mac OS. So I use Mac OS to build the script or to run the script locally and all the machines were deployed in my AWS account, which is good. Um because you have control by it and you can easily destroy this lab anytime and rebuild it anytime you want. Um the only thing about that is that you get charged for how you use your lab due to the fact that they're using AWS accounts or AWS platform. So you'll be charged this on how you use this lab. So uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I believe it's a lot of people might say um, due to their cost, they might not really like that. But uh, for me personally, I don't think it's a big deal. And it's something I can afford, so definitely, um, that's why I went for it. Uh, I read all these things about before I purchased the course, so I will also advise you to read more, you know, about it and see if something that fits into your budget, you know, then go for it. And also, not only AWS account, you can also deploy it in Azure and GCP cloud environment as well. All these are covered. And the course material on how you can set up your lab on all these three platforms. Um, after you finish the course, you will definitely need to, you know, 
send a professional or send an email out to let them know when you want to attend your exam. Uh, for me, I'm still going through the course. I just started not long ago. Uh, I'm still trying to understand the course very well to digest everything and learning. So it's probably take me a little bit of time before I attend to to the exam or to write the exam. Um, another cool feature is that you have a uh, Cobra Strike. You it's the opportunity to learn more about Cobra Stripe to understand how Cobra Stripe works, how to get payload, uh, uh, SMD baking, a lot of cool stuff in the lab, I will tell you. And you have access to this lifetime, so you can basically use it anytime you want. One other thing I want to add to it is that you need a domain, so you have to purchase a domain that's another thing that is very, it's a requirement. So this domain will be used. Uh, you can also set it up in your AWS account like using Route 53, and you point it to your redirector. So the redirector, so that our, our C2 will be exposed to public, basically in the real world, you don't want to expose your C2 to public, so you would utilize redirector for this. So all traffic going through, or going through, or going through this, uh, we come through the director of the that way uh, before uh, going back to your C2. So the, the director serves as an intermediary between the external and the internal network. Uh, so, which actually makes sense a lot. Um, other thing I want us to talk about is regarding the, the, the I've talked about the platform, it's very good as a training. Um, you have different virtual machine that you do. You have your Windows their box, you have your attacking machine, uh, you have the, your the director, you have your so on the Windows dev dev uh dev box rather, you guys where you can access your Cobra Strike. Uh it's very, very cool lab. I like the way it was designed. Um you know. It's not. It's not just like uh, one thing I like is very very realistic. Not like you're just performing operation and just lab. But for the fact that you are using all these tools to learn more on how you can perform an actual directing operation, which a lot of uh, sophisticated professionals can learn something uh, from using this course. One thing. Another thing, I'll learn another thing I'll add to that is the fact that you can use this machine and machine, they have two different set of machines. Once you complete the course, there's another set of machines that has an ADR on them. So it's this was uh, kind of the, ch uh, the challenges that you we have to face, you know, so it will help you to understand how you to build a stealthy payload that can bypass ADR solution. So that's one thing uh, that I like about this course. It's not just a lab, but it's actually training you on how to bypass ADR solution, building your own custom payloads and all that. So which actually uh, makes sense a lot. I like it. So basically that is just, um, uh, I don't want to give too much out, but I would definitely I will recommend you guys to look into this platform. And uh, it's something that I would definitely recommend. Um, so another thing I want to show us is uh, I've deployed my machines on the AWS environment. So I just want to give you the overview of how it looks like. Uh, so you can basically um see how this lab is set up in this uh, environment. So this is uh, my AWS now, and you can see the machines are being deployed. So these are the challenges, well, these are the, <laughs> the challenges that you will face uh, while attempting to do the work with the uh, EDR, so that's why it's called EDR challenge. So all these machines have EDR on them, which are updated. 
according to what he's saying the course is outdated in there so it's the same it's kind of it's the same lab as this one but just that the EDRs are present on all the machines so whatever you link here can also be transferred but you have to all the payload you use on the these machines won't work on the ones with the EDR so you have to build your own stuff to payload utilize what you've learned in the course to be able to build stuff to payload that will bypass all or that, that would bypass the EDR present in all these machines to be able to fully compromise all of them. So that's one thing I like about this machine. And like I said, you can start and stop at the same time. This I was stopped already. So anyway, I want to start, I can just start any of them. I'll just start it here. For people that are used to AWS, this might not really be an issue for you. So you can click on all of them. I'm just yeah, start any instance you want. All of them will start. So that's something I want to show us with that. Uh these are all the targets. So let's look into your into our um attacker system. So this is our dev box. This is one the dev box. So we have our C2 here. So you can access your C2 using redirector pointing to the internet. Uh this is the guacamole server here. So this is where you can see all your machines and you can you know, open any of all these machines. It has allow us to interact with all these machines. So these are going to see to server here. So and these are Linux attack system. The system comprises a lot of tools that comes with it. So uh, uh, you don't have to use any other tool. Just, just have to focus on using all the tools that come to the course. And all of them are hosted in our AWS account here. So I can definitely use it anytime. I feel like, okay, maybe I won't be using it. Why instead of getting charged, I can destroy all of them and rebuild them from start. But one other thing I like about it, so every step, everything you've done on these machines here are saved automatically. So uh, you don't have to start from fresh. Uh, let me say from fresh to uh to build or to to you know, if you have done a step before you'd have to go back so all of them are saved so you can always continue from wherever you stop and one thing i like about the course is that it you know we've been taught how you can create a system on all the compromise machine so it's easier so you don't have to go back from beginning to start so it's actually um, makes sense a lot. So this is how it looks out in the video. So you can also use it on Azure. It's also taught in the course Azure. Um, yeah, that is all the cool stuff I feel I should share with you guys on this platform on how valuable it is for all security professionals. I always wanted for Red mask for anybody who is interested in offensive security can use this material to or use this course well, uh, to learn more about operation, retinal operations, and how you can utilize cover strike your retinal. So, um, guys, uh, this is all I have for you. Um, I will, I will advance you to take the opportunity of the source that is going on right now um to purchase this course i wish it was 50 percent of when i purchased it but that's fine so take the opportunity now i uh and buy this course it's highly rightly um recommended let me put it that way so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section or if you have purchased this course before you have done before i want to and i'd like to hear your opinion about it and what you think as well well, personally, based on my own experience so far, uh, this is what I can share about this uh, course. I uh, will definitely make another video on the other course, which is the offensive uh, Azure uh, security. I think um, because it's more on how you can perform a virtual energy environment. And also, I've not started that yet. Uh, I believe it's something that will find interesting as well. but. On this ARTO uh, certification, 
definitely recommend it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I will see you on the next video.